Oh, wow. Darling. Honey. Sweetie. Gravy. Take the pin I gave you and stop the earth creating our new supreme empire. I, I... What's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy. Or should I, with the last 1% of my battery? Cross Susie into 8 bit. Leave. Leave Susie alone. You think listening to you makes me happy? No. I'll never be happy, not if I'm controlled by you. Why can't you understand that? Noel, perhaps my computations were miscalibrated. Noel, disregard me and, with your own power, choose the world that makes you happy. Queen? Cook Queen? Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right, everybody? Everybody? Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, now that you mention it, Chris isn't this world just better. We make so many friends here, you know. I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battle and magic? Where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells her what to do. Gosh, yeah. So, so even if things were really scary just now, I mean... So this is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then Noel, let this be my real apology. Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future, a future that shines for us, a future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What? What in the world are you all doing? Well, we thought we- Stop! I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I, well, we'll just... You'll bring the roaring. When the earth light is sub subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. All will fall into chaos. The titans will take form from the fountains and envelop the land in devastation. The surviving darkness crushed by the darkness will slowly one by one turn into statues leaving the lighteners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. Is that your idea of paradise? Oh damn, I did not know that. You didn't? But your whole plan was to... I'm just a computer, LMAO. I don't know anything. I was just guessing based off the night's actions. Why the heck, hell, would I want to end the world? Oh, well, that's a relief. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I, I... After everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noel. That's okay, Bradley, I understand. I thought about it while changing my batteries. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You, you understand how I feel? Not really, LMAO. I just don't want to be Noel to be sad. <laughs> well, 
I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. No, we freaking didn't. Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie. Hey, you stood up to the queen not half bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Huh? Everything got so intense I forgot it was a dream. Then I just hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noel. When you wake up, um... Well, I just wanted to say, uh... Ew, the way she climbed. <laughs> well then, I suppose it's time for you all to exit. Running program tender goodbye. Dot exe. I will miss each of you. Noel, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. Berkeley? It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all our recruits can live there. Oh. Cancel. <laughs> Deleting tender goodbye.exe. Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noel. If you see the real Susie, just... Just know that maybe she's... Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? <laughs> okay, I got it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris. <laughs> we just get pushed. Hmm, <laughs> fountain. Chris. It looks like we're here again, huh? The Roaring Night. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. It was a dream, wasn't it? Huh? A dream? That was all a dream? Oh, of course, that must have been a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts. Oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be. <gasps> Susie! S Susie, w what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? <laughs> oh, right, I, uh, I... What? Studying with them? No, well, heavens, Tex, they're, they're... Well, I guess we could try it. Uh, uh, my, my alarm. Ah, I'm going to be late for my shift with Miss Boo. Oh no, how is it late already? Well, out of you everyone, I must gather my book longings. Ah, how I love the texture of freshly picked up books. Now let us hasten, my dear Noel. Good day, Chris, Susie. Bye, Chris. And, um, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. What? <laughs> what are you looking for? Something? <laughs> Nothing. Bye bye. <laughs> she kind of looked like a hippo. The heck is her problem, anyway? Way to treat someone who just saved the world. Crew Chris, hey, wait, wait a sec, Chris. We just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really, we really are heroes, and no one even knows. Guess it's better that way though, right? People freaked out if they know the world is in danger. Though, kinda suck Noel had to forget too. Whatever, let's get out of here. 
left to our own devices again. It's a trash can, you can get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. It's a recycling bin. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. Someone tried to check their email but the internet is down. It's full of many backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra mara maracas. <laughs> Various posters talking about internet safety. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Hey Chris, shouldn't we check out Lancer? He should be back in the school closet, right? I won't be going around town as much so that you guys can like... Play the game yourself and experience some, some bits, you know. <gasps> Queen's here. <laughs> so this is your castle town. It's... Not bad. Chris, Susie. On behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I am going to be your wacky roommate now. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Yeah, we should save. It's been a while. After a long day, town has grown once again. You are filled with certain power. Susie, Chris, toothpaste boy. Queen is teaching me all of the sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father to me. A girl dad, if you will. You mean a mom? <laughs> It's a music player. Listen to the contents. Listen. <laughs> it's full of cartoon splat noises. <laughs> Ew. Uh -huh. So there's like a lot of stuff to do. You can like talk to people. And I guess that there's going to be a lot of funny stuff. A lot of funny stuff based on, you know, Toby Fox made this game. It's bound to be funny. Chris, you going home? Yeah. All right. Then I guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, how was studying with your... Why, Chris? Is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should, um, probably get going and... I was going to bake a pie. Do you want any? Ooh, food. Guess I can come over for a bit. Feel free to come in. Oh, excuse me, I am Chris's mother, Toria. Yes, ma'am, I remember. Oh, you do, and you are Susie, are you not? Uh huh, you um, remember my name too? Of course, Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. I'm glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is this Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you go wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together. Uh, but I don't know how to. Do not worry, I can teach you. Is the music playing right now, Undertale? Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I am very happy you are friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, alright? Hands are washed. Wonderful, now we can. Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake pie? Chris, you know how to make pie? Then how haven't you made me any then? <laughs> you pie hoarding pieces of... I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Okay, s oh, okay, sweet. Uh, Chris, oh, you need to wash your hands too? Then I suppose I'll teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will- wait! They're making the pie. Wash hands. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Yes. It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. I can't move. Oh no! <gasps> oh, what's happening? Ooh, are we the heart? I 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not moving this, guys. Get the flower. So that's this bag, and you just. Oops. Hee <laughs> hee, Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I mean to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, eh? <laughs> Achuko. <laughs> now, on to the next part. Wait, how do we get out? So, where the heck is Chris? Oh, Chris uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry, I'm getting sleepy. Do you know that they call us sleeping, Susie? Huh, what? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, <laughs> then I guess you'd be a snoria. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that funny. Snoozy and snorio. Uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? Alright, where the hell is Chris? Torio? The pie is nearly done. Oh, sugar, wait a moment. I left it in the car. Okay. I'm not controlling Chris. control again no hey Chris hurry up next time we're already almost done so what's next oh uh, the pie we already work quite hard have we not how about we finish it later um okay then I uh, guess I'll walk home oh no 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 there's no need to do that well actually Susie would you like to stay over I mean, uh, if it's okay then. Here, look at this. Our couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah? Splendid, I will make sure everything is in order. I, <laughs> I, I click too fast. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. So what the hell to sleep for? <laughs> Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever, eh? <laughs> Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here. There, knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty when we'd last use this thing. Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Patters? Heh, <laughs> maybe Ice E? The movie's more as your speed, huh, Chris? Ha ha ha. It's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Rosie, Lancer, everyone? It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Rossi could do our homework. <laughs> Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk together to school. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. I don't know. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Seems a little far-fetched. What? Come on, it'd be easy. Rasi looks like your mom, right? Just say he's a long-lost cousin. It'd be easy. Lancer could even make him a fake mustache. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. So the festival's coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? 
but say you had to attack someone, Noel or Ralsei. I don't know. But I do want to go with Rossi because he's like a cute pop ball, you know what I mean? What? Why are you saying it's so confused? It's not like I meant anything weird. You know what? Forget it. Look, let's just go back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. Always like them better than the giant human movie. Now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building, bashing, car crunching action? Because we are locked in, got it? I'd better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here and... There. Oh, she fell asleep. <laughs> Susie fell asleep. I mean, who wouldn't be? I fell asleep too. Chris fell asleep. Officer? Officer? Thank goodness I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. Officer, if you could please come over. You will soon? Thank you. They're already asleep. Oh, that's not a comfortable way to sleep, Toriel. <laughs> and I'm not moving anything. Oh, Chris is awake. Oh no, they're doing it again. What are you doing with a knife? <gasps> Chris is the one making fountains! I'm speechless. <laughs> I mean like I had a like a hint of idea as to why but why though? Are we the heart? We have to be the heart. Ooh, that smile kind of reminds me of Flowey. Again, play Undertale. Thank you to everyone who worked on this game, it's so fun. Your hard work really paid off. I hope you're all doing well <laughs> during this <laughs> during this pandemic. Y'all really worked hard. Thank you developers, thank you so much. That's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if it's a series, thank you for watching this series. If not, thank you for watching either way. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good 